What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm be reviewing Don't Breathe. This one came out in 2016 and stars Dylan Nett and Stephen Lang. Now before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the post notification bell so you get notified for every video, and let's just start. So let's start talking about the good. So Dylan Minnett and Stephen Lang are very good in the film, as well as Jane Levi. Um, the twist reveals were pretty good um, near the end of the film. Um, Stephen Lang just does a great job in the film. He does not talk in the film, I don't believe. I don't believe he talks. Um, I think he's blind and deaf in the film. <clears throat> and he just plays the role perfectly. Um, there's another guy in the film, I don't know his name, he's, he's okay in the film, I guess. Um, he's only in the film for a little bit. Um, and spoiler warning, he gets killed in the first act of the film, which I didn't really care because his character was, it was whatever. Um, there are many tense sequences throughout this entire film, especially in the second act and the third act, when, um, spoiler warning, when the um, two lead characters are trying to exit the old man's house, it's filled with tense sequences, and the third act of the film is very different. The third act of the film is, it's different. I've never seen any third act like this before, so I really like the third act of the film. Um, I guess the only bad thing I have about this film is that there were, I guess, one or two subplots in this film that I did not really care about. They weren't needed in the film to, um, for the story to progress, so that's, the, that's all the bad I have. But Don't Breathe is a fantastic horror film. Um, definitely one of my favorite horror films of 2016. And I highly recommend it. And I'm going to give it a B. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the post notification bell so you can notify for a video. I'm Peter. Thank you for watching.